Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. So I've taken the kids to school and now I need to get this place looking a little bit decent. Let me flip you around and can have a look at what I've got to tackle. That is a bag of bulbs I need to go and put in my front garden. Those are two parcels I need to take to the post office and get posted. I have done the dishes, well, cleared the dishes, got to wash those. Uh, washing to be dried, hoovering to do, living room to put back together again. Uh, the squirrel seems to have gone AWOL. Although maybe he has been with that pot. I have to come and just keep an eye. I didn't do anything for Saturday and Sunday and I wonder if maybe he's thinking, well, there's no nuts for me here. What's the point in coming back? But the, uh, the basket is stage two. No, stage three of my training. So we'll see how that goes. I need to hoover in here, just have a bit of a tidy up. A couple of things here that need to go into the, that's what I'm looking for, caravan. Into the caravan. Clothes that need to be folded. Tortoises need to come out and go for a wander. Uh, right. Some stuff to go upstairs. Be put away. Uh, Lee had a clear out yesterday in the cupboard and he emptied two boxes of rubbish into the bin. So uh, they need to go in the loft. Um, I did get the boys to tidy up, so it's not too bad in here, but, you know, could be better. <laughs> the whole basket of washing. There's a bin that needs emptying. The bathroom needs cleaning. Uh, this room's not too bad, to be honest, but it does need a hoover. And I do need to put my rucksack away. And I really, really want to get this airing cupboard cleared out. Because as you can see, it's got ridiculous. People just shove things in there. So, I need to do that. You know what we need first? Cup of tea. Cup of tea. Right. Tortoise is getting a little bit randy. So. Time to come out. You go in the garden. You guys can go in the garden. Peanuts have gone. I wonder if the squirrel's been. I think he might have been. Right, let's just let's see if it works that one out. I can't imagine it's going to do anything with that dog barking out there. Oh, right, look, cups with cold tea and. I need to go and wash. Actually, how am I going to empty that now? I've got water. I'm going to empty it in the garden. Empty it in the garden. Looks like the tortoises have eaten their watermelon. Put that in the bin in a minute. Either that or the slugs and bugs have eaten it. Right, camper van tails in the bath. Posh cats camping. Gonna make me a nice cup of tea. Thanks guys. Don't mind if I do. Right. Oh, oh that's good, that's empty. So, what can go on the line? And what can go in the tumble dryer? Tumble dryer. Not tumble dryer, tumble dryer, tumble dryer, tumble dryer. 
tumble dryer, tumble dryer, tumble dryer, not, no, yeah, not, tumble dryer, not, tumble dryer, not, tumble dryer, Hurr, tumble dryer. Right, I'll get on with that then. Anyone got any idea how to get egg, raw egg that has gone on Kenzie's trousers, black trousers I might add, and left like these snot marks all over it. They have been washed, but it's not come off his trousers. To be fair, the trousers are getting too small for him, but you know, even if I pass them on to someone else, they don't want egg snot on it, do they? I'm going to put some washing up liquid on and put them back in the wash. But if anyone has any smart ideas of how to get rid of egg that would be great thanks april 1st people april 1st happy uh april fool's day anyone got caught out with any tricks and jokes yet so we have a blue tit on our calendar today for the next month i do love blue tits they are very cute very colorful we don't have an awful lot of colorful birds in the uk most of them are black and brown and sort of fawny colour. But this is one of our colourful ones with a bright yellow tummy and blue bits, blue bits all over it. And they're very cute. So, yes, April 1st. Many, many things on my calendar. Many, many things. Hmm. School holidays coming up, though. One more week left of work. School holidays. Right, let's get this washing machine turned on. I always have to press it twice. I don't know why. Okay. Tumble dryer on. Cup of tea. Guess who's back in the garden? Checking out my new trick for him. Let's see how he tackles it. Where do I start? 
I guess I should clear out my very messy airing cupboard. I think I'll go down and get a carrier bag for things that I no longer want. Yes, that would be a start. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Radio, let's crack on. Yeah, you know when you kind of go, oh my goodness, what have I got myself into? Okay, so this is all stuff that's going. It's either stuff we don't use or things that are too small for my kids now. Because my kids are like adults. Okay, that's bedding, which I know a lot of it is very young bedding, but they like what they like. It's like their bedroom. It's been Buzz Lightyear since Brendan was born and they don't want it to change. Um, so I'm going to, I always put the duvets inside the pillowcase so that there is a set. And then these are spare sheets and pillowcases and I can't find the pillowcase to go with that. So it could be that one of the boys has mismatched, drives me crazy, mismatched bedding. So I need to find the pillowcase for that. But anyway, these are going to go in the shelf here. Um, that is a lot emptier. I'm going to put the foot spa. Do you know what? I think I'm going to get rid of the foot spa. I've undenied about it before. And I haven't probably used it in about a year. Get rid of the foot spa. Get rid of the foot spa. If it's not being used regularly, do not have it. That's going. So I've got a roll-out mat that used to be in our little pull-along wagon. But it's kind of like a big comfy cushiony mat. I've thrown um, a rug down to put in the playroom. Some spare clothes there for the kids, which I need to put in the spare clothes box downstairs. New single fitted sheet, which I need to put with those. Ah, my cosy toes, they need to go on the top. Those are my cosy toes for my buggies. So they need to go at the back up there because we're now springtime and then I need to see what socks I can match. And also I've got a glove missing, there's two odd gloves down there and those are my brand new gloves that I got for Christmas so I need to check behind the tank make sure it's not falling down the back nearly there nearly there not bad quite impressed some towels bedding bedding cozy toes there's a blanket my roll up mat bag of winter hats and gloves that fit us my winter coat, not my winter coat, but my like, if I, if I wear a coat when I go out walking, which I don't very often, but I do have a decent outdoor coat there if I need it, waterproof. Some pillow, uh, some bath towels, space for more bath towels because we've got another couple. A couple of things that I don't want creased, like my hand fasting dress and my nice pretty dress and another little pretty dress and Lee's shirts and jackets done I'll hoover in there when I hoover the rest look at that and that has all got to be taken to either the rubbish or to the caravan ready for a car boot sale in the summer job done everything's in the caravan um, ready for car boot when the car boot season start in Probably a couple of months. That is hot out there. We're supposed to have snow again on Wednesday, but at the moment that is roasting. Kind of shorts weather, but I think I'm probably not going to put shorts on. I've got a school meeting and I think I'll look, you know, a bit better in jeans. Um, before I hoover, I'm going to have a cup of tea. That's what I need next, a cup of tea. Please excuse the noise of the tumble dryer. But um, we've got bits in there. Um, I am finishing up some bits that are in the fridge, um, sweet chilli chicken, potato, uh, tomatoes, a little bit of cheese and some creamy coleslaw and having another cup of tea. It is not even 11 o'clock yet but I'm hungry and I've been working hard this morning so I'm going to have it now. Okay so I just went on to Chilli McMillan's live stream which I was late for because this whole hour has messed me up and I should have been in it sooner anyway he didn't know what an airing cupboard was he's Canadian 
And I'm thinking maybe Americans don't know what an airing cupboard is either. So let me explain a UK airing cupboard. That big thing there, that you guys saw when I was cleaning out, is our hot water tank. So this is where all the hot water, so we've got the pipes coming down from the loft, where our water tank is in the loft. And then it comes down, fills up our hot water tank, and the hot water tank heats up the water for our baths, washing our dishes, that kind of stuff. So this is a really warm spot. And it's where we keep all our bed linen, all our towels, and you will see the clothes that I put out on the um, washing line earlier on are, you know, within an hour, within an hour and a half, two hours, pretty much dry, but they still got a slightly damp feel to them. So when you have a clean airing cupboard, like I've got now, you can lay clothes that have been out on the line in there just to finish taking out the damp, which is why it's called an airing cupboard. Because the warm air, when you've got this door shut, the warm air dries everything out completely. So you don't get any damp in your clothes or anything like that. So that's the purpose of an airing cupboard. Now I need to hoover. I need to hoover. If I had half a brain, I'd be dangerous. If I had a full brain, the world would be stuffed. I've just realised I've been running today on pre spring time just looked at my clock on the oven and went wow i'm doing so well today i've only just gone 12. no it's 10 past one 10 past one people i still done a lot but you know i have an appointment at 2 45. if it said 1 45 i'd be going i've got plenty of time <laughs> no pip you haven't you're a stupid brain so now i've changed the clocks that I should have done yesterday. It was Mother's Day, I wasn't doing anything. Anyway, time to wrap up, wrap up my packages. Blue bike and Doyle, blind views. You wait, you have packages coming. See you guys at the post office. Time to post my mail. Don't you mind me? <laughs> it's very good. Is that what you learned at school? I've got you some dinner. I'm going to make you a cup of tea. Your brother's going to get tea bags. Oh, what is that? Uh, you've got one of those in the fridge. If you can have one of those in the fridge. I'm just going to go and talk to my camera. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Mm -hmm. So, I'm cold. that was an incredibly draining meeting. Hi, You're welcome. I love my boy dearly, but my God, he's hard work. In fact, the Sen, Senko lady at school, she said I was Mother Teresa for having two kids like this. <laughs> two kids like this. Like what? 
You, I tell you what, your better, your send review next week better go better than your brother's today. Brendan was in shutdown mode because we're trying to get him a, a job. They're offering to help him get a job. They're offering to cut one of the days out of his timetable so that he can have work experience. Mm. Who was that? Miss Silver. Oh. So yeah, Within lovely voice. woman, lovely No, Brendan went in shutdown mode. What's that? You know, where he doesn't talk to anyone and grunts. He's all right now. He's gonna join the gym, which he wasn't overly happy about, but it was kind of his choice out of all the options we gave him of things he could do. So we've got to sign him up for the gym. We've got the form. We sent him down to go and get the form, the one at the sports center. So I sent him down to go and get the form. He was not impressed about that. And then, well actually we sent him to go and get a quote and he came back saying 20 something ish pound school kids get a discount, I think. And where's the form? What is the 20 something? Well, uh, this one's shut. Oh, I need a cup of tea. He's gone down to get me tea bags now. Have you run out already? No, but I'm very nearly out of tea bags. And I forgot to I buy them. I bought a pack of 80 like, not too long ago. Like a couple of days ago. 80 tea bags isn't going to do me f very much. It's like, especially when we all have tea. It's not just me. It's not just me. It's mostly you. So as much as I adore my son... And as much as I think Isn't his uniqueness... My, wait, I think it's my SEM review this week, tomorrow. It is your SEM review when we've got parents' evening. Tomorrow. No? Yes. Is it parents' evening tomorrow? Yes. You're kidding me. Oh, I'm going to have to cancel haircuts then. I got it on the wrong day because I didn't look at my flipping phone. <sighs> right. So I go and do that then have knife. I need a cup of tea to chill out, people. I'm getting very stressed. Good noodles? Is it noodles, chicken, there's a little mange too there? Mange too, Rodney? Mange too? You won't get that because you're too young. So what did you get down your shirt? Chocolate. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Oh. Hold on. Too many noodles in my oh, mouth. No, because that was a clean shirt this morning. So what chocolate did you have today? Uh, I had a chocolate milk. Oh, and I've just given you another one? Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Brendan and I are having a gaming session. Eh. We haven't played this game in a while, have we, Brendan? Nope. One. I let Brendan choose. It's Wait, no. Explorers one, of the North two, Sea. three, four. One, two, three, four. Capture Are you after the little piggies? Capture the bacon. Right. Oh. oh. Boom tea. Okay, I'm going to go one, two, three, three. four. Yeah. Um. Horse. Nay! Oh, is that cow? You finished your little Big island over thing. there. One. Two, three, three. Wait, it'd have to be three. Because you've got to have someone on the boat. Oh, wait, no. I and then one to pass it wait. over. Running out of space over there. Nope. Nope. They're all just over here. I'm I'm spider legging off over here. One, two, three. So that's here. Wait, two, three, four. Four. Right. Wow! Wow, that's a powerful learning. Nim. 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 Okay, I'm gonna go. One, two, and they're gonna go three, four. Okay? Okay. I'm having a bath. My rice cake fell in my bath. It's a bit soggy. And the chocolate melted. And it's got a little bit of a hint of bubble bath to it. Feels a bit like it's already been chewed once. Because the rice is soggy. I'm very disappointed. 
Yeah. Rice cakes should not be wet when you put them in your mouth. Kind of like when a kid gives you a half chewed one to share. That was a nice. Well, bath is done. I think I'm done for the night. I think I'm done. I think I need to make a cup of tea. Go and relax with my man. I think so. Right, lovely people. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.